World Update 1 has landed for Microsoft Flight Simulator, which is Japan, as you can see. 19 points of interest, 2 building archetypes, and 6 bespoke airports. I am so hyped to have a look at this because it's going to be so interesting to see somewhere that's outside of Europe and America in really high levels of detail. And there is a flight tour for us to get started with to have a look at Japan. Let's go. Welcome to the Apexian. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Explore the unrivaled splendor of Japan on a scenic flight from Nagasaki to Tokyo. Fly over breathtaking volcanic forms, untamed wilderness, and architecture that spans from ancient temples to futuristic neon wonderlands. Behold the spectacular vistas and iconic landmarks from the legendary Mount Fuji to the artificial Kawasaki Island from Rainbow Bridge to the soaring skyscrapers of the largest metropolitan centre on Earth. Let's go. Here we are. So, I'm not really too sure, like, what I'm meant to be doing. I also can't remember what graphical settings I left this on. Oh wow, is that solar panels? Oh wow, that's so cool. Okay. So... I'm going straight ahead, it seems. I don't know whether I should be doing this from the inside or the outside. I feel like if I'm going to get the best of the scenery, like, the outside is better. But I'm not sure. Maybe when we get close to something, we'll just pop out. Oh wow, this is gorgeous scenery though. Look, look at this. It's absolutely stunning. And you know what? I'm glad they chose Japan. Like, most games tend to have, like, a very western-centric approach. And I guess, you know, it is somewhere that is of curiosity to the west, but it still feels a bit more... It's a lot more interesting than just, say, going, hey, look, here's Rome or here's London. And I know London got a lot of attention in the UK press because... Like, the bridges are just underwater, but that's the nature of this beast. But this is absolutely stunning. I can't wait for, it, like, England to get an update like this. At all. And Scotland. Well, I guess they'll do the UK as a whole. But, oh, and Norway and Sweden. That would be beautiful. Maybe they'll do Scandinavia as a whole thing, though. I'm not sure. I mean, Stockholm would be, like, absolutely gorgeous. I guess I need to reduce my speed a little bit down. Okay, so I'm going to be really honest. Considering this has had an update, seeing terrain like that, perhaps not ideal. But it could be worse. Oh, okay. So there are some terrain spikes, it seems. Let's just hop out and have a quick look at that. Okay. Interesting. So we're cruising at two and a half thousand feet. And there's like a giant thing in the sky there. I'm assuming this is... Ah, okay. I was like, that looks like a very bad texture to us. We are going past something though. So the Chikugo grid. So do I press... I press one. Okay, so it's like right in front of me. So we're gonna... We're gonna try and have a look at this. Gonna go to external. And this is like the first thing we're gonna have a look at apparently. So I'm just gonna fly towards it. This is the Chikugo River Lift Bridge. There we go. Look at that. An actual lift bridge. Okay, and now we're just going to go back up in the air. Go back to cockpit. Okay, so we've left our first point of interest, and we are just cruising at about 3,500 feet now. And we're going to head over to our next spot. Let's just tilt our wings down so we can see there. The city below us. Okay, we're doubling our height now, and just look at... Wow. 
This is gorgeous. Let's just have a look outside quickly. Obviously, we're getting closer to our next city, but... Holy shit! This is gorgeous. Look at this. Oh my god. Stunning. Wow. This is like insane. I never thought I would see something like this beautiful. And I was like a flight sim. Like I grew up on these games and they mean so much to me. And this is just stunning. Like, thank you so much, Microsoft, for bringing this beautiful baby into the world. <laughs> okay, so what I've had to do is just sort of fly around and loop around and make sure that I can reduce everything down far enough. But here we are. This is Camon Ridge. See, my accent is going to be absolutely atrocious. But here we are. This is Camon Bridge. We're going to try and get quite close to this. There we go. That is Camon Bridge. And all its beauty. We're just going to climb back up now. Look at that. Look how beautiful this is. I mean, I'm going to be honest, I didn't really fly Japan before. And I have deviated, of course, once again, so I just was so curious about the cruise line. But, yeah, we, uh, it, it looks stunning. Like, I don't even care if, if it's, like, if it isn't a massive update to a lot of Japan, but it is stunning, even in the game itself, as it was. Wow. There it is. Wow, stunning. It's so cool. Wow. So okay, one more pass. Look at that. Wow. Gorgeous. All right, let's get back up. It should be sort of flying direct. Oh, I'm assuming that's it. I can see that it's sort of a higher poly model to the rest of it already. Oh my God, I'm assuming it's this beautiful thing over here. Yeah, this is it. This is Himaji Castle. Yeah, this is it. This is Himaji Castle. Oh my god. Wow. Look at that. Gorgeous. This is a double whammy because we're then going over to the Akashi Kaiko Bridge and the Kobe Port Tower. We are a bit away from them though, so I'll let you know when we get there. Okay, so here we are. You can see it in front of me. I'm, I'm assuming this is the Akashi Kaiko Kaikyo Bridge. And then what we're going to do is fly past this, and then on the left we'll have the Kobe Port Tower. But look at this. Tell me this game isn't beautiful, people. 
tell me this game is not absolutely stunning. Can we fly under it? Do we dare? Oh, we dare. <gasps> oh no, I don't want to go overstressed. But we are daring. Here we go. We're going to fly under the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge. Oh, look, there's traffic on it. Oh. Okay, it apparently thinks I was landing. Hmm. I was definitely not touching the ground. So I'm assuming you just can't fly under the bridge? Okay. Oh my god. I've just noticed. Is he through the triangle window there? Mount Fuji. Oh my gosh. I mean, there's still... Oh, I didn't realise I could see all the way back there. Um, yeah, this is still absolutely incredible. Let's just have a look down below. Once again, like, the scenery is absolutely stunning. And the... In the distance, looming over the entire Japan is Mount Fuji. It, even from out here, you can see how massive it is. Oh, I can't wait till we get to fly past that. Won't be long. I don't think there's really anything on the way I want to cut to. I know following that crash, I sort of like skipped some things. But it's mainly because I just sort of wanted to get to Fuji. I'm not going to lie. I'm really, really anticipating it. Okay, so we're sticking to outside view, and we've got, like, the absolutely incredible Mount Fuji there. Like... <laughs> wow. It's absolutely stunning. Okay, so I may have taken a slight detour. So that we could just come here. And just view this. Look how absolutely gorgeous it looks. Like, compared to the rest of the world. I wonder what's rendered right at the top. Is there actually any hard rendering at the top? Or is it just sort of like, generic text just at the top? Because nothing about this seems anything but the best. Okay, is it? No, that looks like it's... I think? That looks good, I think. Wow. That's all I can say to this, it's just wow. And look, they've even got the paths that are on there. I just absolutely hit my mic, but they've got... Like, the zigzag paths all the way up. Wow. So here we are in Tokyo. We are le flying way lower than we should. Just because we want to have a poke around, really. We'll ignore whatever mess is behind us. So this is the Metropolitan Government Building. On our left. Oh my god. The Mode Gaiuken Tower. The Sompo Japan something tower. Wow. <laughs> this is insane. Oh, there's a massive few towers over there. Let's pull up, pull up. Let's head to the National Diet Building because apparently that's like two miles away. This is insane. Like, absolutely insane. How beautifully modelled this is. I mean, some bits clearly haven't loaded in. As you can see on the right. The buildings are sort of coming in. This is more my internet than anything else. See, that looks amazing. 
Okay, we're just going to veer away from this area where it looks like there's an apocalypse and all. And just go to the bits of Tokyo that look beautiful. So this is the sky tree? I have no idea what this is. Can we still see Fuji? Oh my god, look at that. Iconic. I actually see Fuji still. Wow. So we're going past the sky tree now. Oh wow. Absolutely beautiful. We can like probably just fly around it. Okay, and now we need to land. So I'm not sure where the airport is, I'm gonna be really honest. Tokyo is not somewhere I'm extremely familiar with. So we're gonna have a look on the VFR map. Okay, it looks like I am flying the sort of right direction. National Diet Building over there again. Okay, so it looks like my internet is sort of struggling a bit after doing this all day because not everything is loading in. That is absolutely fine. Please do not like say anything against the game about this. It's not the game, it's me. It's my internet. Oh, we did actually miss Rainbow Bridge. So I guess we should fly back to the towards that quickly. That looks like it is Rainbow Bridge. Oh, look at that. This is iconic. Like, look at Fuji just right in front of me over the Tokyo skyline. Although we are getting back to the bits where the textures perhaps haven't loaded in fully. Again, that is my internet. That is not the game. Uh, so this is the Rainbow Bridge. Nice. So hey. So there's Tokyo, Tokyo Haneda International Airport. We're gonna be landing there. This is a really terrible approach, I'm not gonna lie. That was a runway to my immediate left. And there's also one over there. We're gonna go for the, the far, one on the far. This is a really bad approach. But again, I was so in awe of Japan. I just completely messed everything up. It has to, it seems to have loaded in all the disgusting bits now though, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Whereas before they just were, it genuinely looked like there was an apocalypse. This is what happens when it's loading everything in. It's quite amusing. Everything just looks like disgusting rocks. I also can't remember what the brake button is, so let's hope it tells me again. I'm way too high. Way too high. Way too high. Is it I? I can't remember what the brake button is. I want to say it's I. I'm holding I. I'm hoping it's I. Oh, I think I'm braking. It feels like I'm braking. It feels like I'm slowing. Am I slowing? Can I put my parking brake on? Because that feels like I'm, I'm going to have to do because I can't remember the actual proper brake button. Okay, I'm glad I did that because otherwise I would be dead right now. But that was my very, very <laughs> dramatic landing at uh, Tokyo. <laughs> um, Could have been better, but it wasn't the worst. I really, really enjoyed that. It was a really beautiful way to discover another country in Flight Simulator. I'm one of those people who quite often just goes to the same places over and over again because I know where they are in the world because I've been there and I've not been to Japan. But it was really cool just to fly around it. Really hats off to Flight Simulator because it did an incredible job of showcasing Japan and the new content in the game. And again, this is completely free. And if you have Xbox uh, Ultimate Game Pass, then this is free. I, I haven't paid a penny for this game other than my general subscription, which I use anyway, because me and my boyfriend both use it. So yeah, like really, really good value, <laughs> really. And I, I'm, in, I'm in awe of this game. I, 
it genuinely brings me such an emotional feeling playing it. Anyway, I guess we expected such a bad landing because I am your average garbage girl gamer and thank you so much for joining me on this tour of Japan in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Arigato, sayonara. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Link to the Discord in the description below.